my bro i didn't mean no offense bro to be honest but you know we're brothers and if i see my brother something not too day right as you offered to pray for me feeling like you know things not day right with me i thought you know i'll do the favor back because what you sow is what you reap so you pray for me, I pray for you. Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Summer. So today's video, I want to address this drama between Peter P. Square and uh, Peter Osaze Odeni game. When I, when I tried to look into this to know what was going on, it happens to be that Peter P. Square actually started a new business where he's betting, you know, call it gambling. So, but he uses his Instagram platform for this. I think he has about 10 million followers or something like that. So basically, you know, we all know how lottery, but we all know how betting works. So let's say 100 people played, two people won, you know. So at the end of the day, those that did not win is where the owner of the business makes his money. So basically, he's using his Instagram to promote his business because, he, you know, using his platform is a way to show people, oh, he's working. You know, it's a way of advertising it. It's a way of showing it's working and to entice more people to, to bet. So basically, what he does is he would ring somebody and let them know you just won. Another video, he shared a video where some people were doing some crazy dance and breaking bottles on their head. Okay, Peter P. Square is a Nigerian singer. Peter Osaze uh, Odemigi is a, a Nigerian international football player. Osaze then made a post at Peter P. Square in which he said, What happened to you, Peter P. Square? You are robbing people, you are robbing people in broad daylight with that your nonsense business. And now you want to take even Christmas from them. He's referring to the P Square's gambling business. And he said, You know they fear God at all. Do you not have the fear of God at all? That's what that is. And um, here you can see there the screenshot of the people that are breaking bottles on their head. And then uh, Osaze wrote this to P Square and said, Bro, you no go tell your kids to do that. You are better than that. Many of your songs brought me to God. No depart, please. I think I'm well. Think about it properly or think about it very well. And he, and he wrote again and said, Be blessed. And then Peter then replied and said, Bro, I try to ignore, but I am so disappointed in you. If you are now close to God, does not make you to feel others are close to the devil. I own a registered and licensed lottery platform, just like every other individual does, both here and abroad. But coming to spill this rubbish just because you feel you are now closer to God. Bro, my music never brought you close to this your God in particular bro you have been brainwashed period you look sick and you need help learn to mind your business and focus on that your god and your life disappointed 100 uh, percent and thumbs down three thumbs downs and then p square made a post and said please pray for my namesake peter osaze or Demige. all is definitely not well with him Oh, Saze then made another post in which he, um, another post this time a video explaining his reasoning behind his post, how he felt about, you know, how he felt about the whole thing. I, I apologized and everything. I'll let you guys listen to this. My bro, I didn't mean no offense, bro, to be honest. But, you know, we're brothers. And if I see my brother something not too day right, as you offered to pray for me, feeling like, you know, things not day right with me. I thought, you know, I'll do the favor back because what you sow is what you reap. So you pray for me, I pray for you. So you notice something like maybe I'm pushing it too far. But I think when I watched your video about the guy that took his mom's last 500 Naira to gamble, basically, what you're doing, you're encouraging gambling. Some people win, some people lose. So he went into tears saying his mother is ill. She has cancer. She's on chemotherapy. And he said, you asked him, why is he crying? He said he took his mom's money from her account, his, her last 500 Naira to buy a ticket. Luckily he won, but I believe there are some guys who didn't win on that day and possibly took their dads or moms or friends last money feeling like oh i'm gonna win today because gambling is an addiction so in that situation i'm not condemning your business completely but in that situation 
I think what you should have said to him, I'm saying this from my, from my heart, you should have said to him, I, you know, you, you, he's lucky today, but don't do that again. Because if he didn't win, that means they might not have a meal. They might not even have a meal that day or the next day. Because, and that's stealing. Like you have to ask your mother to take her last money to go gamble. And I believe, you know, some people borrow money to do these things. And when they're in debt, they end up in arrested. They got beaten up and all that. So that was my worry, really. And I will tell you something. In 2019, I was offered endorsement deals from um, gambling companies that were launching in Nigeria. Um, I went to God with it. I said, in Europe, people are kind of, there are regulations. They are regulated. They have more money here. But my conscience didn't let me do that in Nigeria because our people don't have money. They will go gamble their last money on Arsenal, Chelsea, and what next? They go home, beat their wives, slap their kids, you know, uh, being disappointed because you know how our country is. So I said no. And I went to God with prayer and I believe I had an answer. So I heard his voice and he said, you know, do what you want. God doesn't force us to do things. But he said, I hope you trust me with your finances. So it was a good offer. A couple of months later, through the NFF, you can ask Dayo NAB, I receive another message. And he says, Osas, there is a, a company here, like gambling company. They want to offer you something. Uh, can I pass your number? I simply said, no, Dayo, thank you. You can call him and ask. I said, no, I don't do gambling. It's not for me. I'm not condemning it. It's, it's for some people. You know, I was played, I played for Stoke City. Our sponsors are a very big gambling company here, Bet365. But they're regulated. You know, I'm sure yours is regulated to an extent. But I'm just saying from my heart, like that particular case, if he took his mom's last 500 naira, you should have rebuked him as a brother. You would have said, you understand, like sometimes if you have free cash, you just play, you know, like everybody does. Most of my friends are footballers. They all do gambling. But it's a big issue here. People commit suicide because of gambling. It's an addiction. So it's a, it's a tough one. I'm not condemning people doing it. But if you can control it, that's another thing. You know, the Bible says don't be overtaken by something, but you can do it. We're allowed to drink, party a little bit, but it doesn't have to dominate us, okay? And I didn't come out with like judgment, bro. I'm coming out with grace. You know me. We were friends. Nobody like party reach me. Nobody like music reach me. You know? We all have our, all have our shortcomings. And I'm not coming. I'm actually coming for guys like you, guys like me. Because we know, you know, we be guy men. Like we like our enjoyments more. But there are some things that we could do better in. I'm not judging you, not condemning you. But when I saw the video you are putting out, encouraging, people are breaking bottles on their heads and dancing. And I asked you, if these were your sons, will you encourage them to do that? So this is how our Christmas should be in Nigeria now. Guys breaking bottles on their heads and dancing like crazy. I'm just saying my opinion. I don't think it's right. Maybe once a year you want to go mad, you go to somewhere and do that. But not to bring that kind of thinking into Christmas. Because, you know, it's family time. It's nice time. We're going to, I don't think we will make that day nice. So apologies if I offended you in any way. I was kind of, you know, disappointed in a few other things. Because, you know, my heart is bleeding for Nigeria every day. And one reason why I'm supporting Trump is very simple. Lockdown means death for lots of our people. We all witnessed what was happening during uh, the the uh, crisis we recently lived through. Um, our people, some of them, were falling down from roofs trying to reach palliatives just for a bag of rice. Uh, I think a, a girl, they said she fell and died. Uh, people grabbing goats and chickens and running away. Uh, the scenes from Just is what I saw because I have a friend of mine who grew up in Benin City with me. Uh, she lives in Joss. She sent me pictures. I used to send her money. I haven't heard from her for two weeks. And I honestly hope she didn't commit suicide, to be honest, because she hasn't messaged. Two weeks ago, I sent her 50,000 naira to just keep herself going. Before that, I sent her some money because she has two sons. When she sent me a photo on Instagram, she had only margarine in her fridge. No bread, nothing to eat. So now she lost her two sons because the father had to take them. She's from Joss. The father had to take them because she can't look after two boys. And it's heartbreaking to see a mother 
uh, go away from the kids. I believe you and your brother loved your mom a lot and we have a soft spot for our moms. So what I'm saying is he shouldn't have taken his mom's last 500 Naira to go and gamble. But apologies if I offended you in any way. Um, you know, good friend will always say some, the truth to someone. I appreciate your worry about me that uh, you feel something is not all right. But you know what I do all day? I pray for Nigeria because our Naira has gone down and uh, I don't see the budget for 2021 is not looking good. It's going to be a lot of troubles in Nigeria. I read articles, two, two million people displaced uh, since the lockdowns. Uh, hunger will be a problem. Famine will be a problem. You see bandits all over the place, robbing, uh, taking uh, women away into the forest. Uh, I think, you know, People don't see this, but I read the, new, the articles. Somebody uh, from Abuja sends me articles from Nigeria and every day it's hurting to see that, you know. We can't export petrol as we used to, so our economy will really be hit. I'm sorry again, you remain my favorite singer of all time, both of you. I'm not saying this because I want to make up with you. You were my favorite, you will remain my favorite because you were just the best. And I liked the innocent songs that you guys used to sing and your beats are the best in the world. And the lyrics you had, they kind of had meaning. They were relevant to our society. So let's not go too far and start Americanizing because, you know, we keep our uniqueness not to conform to anyone else. That's actually what I'm trying to say. So all I'm doing now is encouraging our people. I pray for our people every day because I see harder, harder and harder times coming because our economy has taken a hit and I don't see it rebounding in the near future. God bless you, bro. And you have a half Russian wife. Say hi to her. You are not a stranger to me. As you know yourself, I appreciate your prayer. Be blessed and I'm sorry again if I offended you in any way, bro. You be my guy, man. Feel free to leave your opinions in the comment section below. And with that, I'm going to say thank you for watching. Until the next time, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.